Let's see how to import a function from another Python file. So what we have here is two files. We have main.py and then we also have helper.py. And the goal is to use here functions that we defined here in the other Python file. So as you can see, I have here two functions, add numbers and mult numbers. These are very simple functions and I want to use them in this file. So how can it be done? Actually, pretty simply. All we need to do is write import and then the name of the file from which we want to use the functions. In this case, helper. And notice that I do not need to specify the py extension, only the name of the file itself. Now, since the methods I defined here require two parameters, let's define these parameters in our main file. And now, to actually use the function, we first need to specify the name of the module, in this case, helper. And when I press on dot, I see that the first two options, add numbers and mult numbers, are the two functions we defined in the module. So first, let's use the first function. And let's also do the same thing for the second function. And let's print the results. And we can see 15 and 56, which are the expected results. Now, another way to import these functions is to only import what we're actually going to use instead of importing the entire module. To do that, we use a syntax that's a bit different. So here is how it looks like. So first, we need to specify where we're going to get the functions from. And that's the module, of course. So from, and then the name of the module. And now we're going to import what we actually want. And as you can see, I have two options, and these are the functions that I have in the module. So let's import the first function. And the thing is that if I use this syntax, I don't need to use the name of the module anymore. I can access the function as if it was defined in this file. So instead of helper.addNumbers, I can simply write add numbers. And it will work, even though this function is defined in the other file, in the module. But of course, this line will not work because we didn't import this function. We only imported this function over here. So first, let's get rid of the name of the module. We don't need it anymore. But still, if I try to run my program like this, I get an error that says that mult numbers is not defined. If I want to use this function, I can import it as well. And now I'm going to be able to use both of them and we get the expected result. Another important thing to know is what happens if the module is in a different folder. So the main file, the file that makes use of the module, and the module itself are in different folders. To see that, let's create a new folder. And now I'll move the helper file to this new folder. And as you can see, the Python extension from Visual Studio Code wants to make some changes to the code because we are moving this file. So let's click on OK. And as you can see, the name of the folder was added before the name of the file. So if we're trying to use a module that's in a different folder, we first need to specify the folder in which the module can be found and only then the name of the file itself. So for both of these functions, we had to first specify the folder and then the name of the module, helper in this case. And now we are going to be able to keep using these functions. Even if we try to use the first syntax we saw for importing the file, we're still going to have to specify the folder that contains this file. So another folder, dot, and only then the name of the file. And just like before, we have to specify the module before we use the functions themselves. And now everything works. But the thing is that the name of this module is a bit long and cumbersome. So what we can do in such cases is use as. And what this allows us is to use an alias. So instead of using this long name, I can specify some other name to my choice. So for example, I'll go with HL. And now instead of writing the full name of the module, I simply need to write HL. And this is much clearer. And it works just like before. 